Hello everyone! Welcome back to another 2v2 battle with me and Surreal. We are both playing as Chaos, and we are both using Sigvald the Magnificent. We found that out when we entered the match, because who brings Sigvald? Nobody. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring Sigvald. And then when we got in the match, he was like, dude, I brought Sigvald, because no one ever uses him. And I'm like, oh, dude. Alright, fine. We'll just be the Sigvald twins. Anyway, we are also facing off against two green skins. We'll get to their army here in just a moment. I have two Chaos Marauders with great weapons, four Chaos Warriors, two Forsaken, two, or three Great Warriors... Sorry, great weapon Chaos Warriors, and then two Chaos Warriors with Halberds. I'm bringing the Chaos Warrior focus build um, around Sigvald. I also have a Fire Sorcerer over here and an Exalted Hero right here. My Cav contingent is just this one Gore Beast Chariot. I'm going to try the Chariot, Gore Beast specifically. I don't really use Chariots at all, but these things look pretty, uh, pretty brutal. For Surreal, he has two Chaos Knights. Uh, let's see, three Forsaken. Sigvald, of course. Three Chaos Warriors, a Giant, and then I think three Chaos Marauders. Four Chaos Marauders for his front line. Our opponents, which I totally am down for this idea. I don't know how many there are, but all these things are goblins. There is a Night Goblin, or, I'm sorry, Goblin Great Shaman here. We have two Arachnor... Four. Four Arachnoroks, four Giants, or three? Four Giants. Over here we have three Goblin Wolf Riders, and then over here we have... I think... Actually, I think they took the same exact build. Three Goblin Wolf Riders. Yeah, okay, I, actually, I, I didn't realize that during the battle, but yeah, they took the exact same build, just kind of duplicated. I'm totally for this. All these Goblins, these are all Goblins. And then their main damage is going to be in the four Giants and four Arachnoroks, and then six... Okay, uh, six Goblin Wolf Riders, two Goblin Great Shame is what the heck is going on here. Anyway, let's start this uh, matchup. I wanted to try and get the enemy to fight us here in the center, so I'm going to move my army up to this point. This army, the enemy is going to start making a line like this to try and goad us into coming into an ambush zone, which I'm not going to accept. Over here, Surreal's Knights are going to be marching up this hill. I'm going to be bringing my Gorby's Chariot to support them on the right side. We can see one of these Goblin Wolf Riders because they're peeking out there. And I remember I'm telling Surreal right here, I'm like, look, dude, I'm not going to go much further. I'm not going to go into this area and just get surrounded on three sides. Even though they're just goblins, being surrounded is never a good idea. The Superior Chaos Knights are going to try and get a charge off on these Goblin Wolf Riders. And they are going to start running. We get one. Miss. The, go the uh, Wolf Riders are pretty, pretty fast. A little faster than the Chaos Knights. So since they have withdrawn, uh, Surreal is then going to go into these Chaos... Or, not Chaos. Uh, these Goblin Warriors. Soonish. There they come. These Goblins are about to have a very bad day. Yep. Into a second group of Goblins. Listen, Goblins are not very, uh, very heavy. They don't have a lot of mass. And then he's going to pull out. The Goblin Wolf Rider is going to come back in and charge. I have my Gore Beast Chariot coming over the hill here in a moment to do another charge on their own. Right now the Chaos Knights are just trying to get out of the situation. You see the Gore Beast Chariot is just lumbering over the hill. My army is still sitting in the center. Surreal's army I think is starting to march to our left flank because the enemy is starting to um, march around this hill ridge area. And we are just going to be disengaging from this fight here. Look at those Gorbis. And we're getting out of here. Seeing how many goblins they have, I do not want to waste my Gorbis chariots against Goblin Wolf Riders. I'd much rather use them to take out the uh, low mass goblins. I think right now Surreal's just fighting some of the Goblin Wolf Riders, but for the most part, we're going to be pulling out of this engagement. Right now, we were also going to flank around the right side because the enemy had set up in that formation. You can see uh, part of it right here and then right here. Then the enemy starts flanking around the left as well, so we are going to come back around and sit in the center once more. Let's actually fast forward a little bit because the battle is, for the most part, over for now. So I fast forwarded a little bit just to give you a view of what's going on here. The goblins are starting to charge through the center, which is what we want. I'm getting my army positioned to basically intercept them. And now Surreal's army is going to be marching over here to intercept this flanking force of the Arachnorok, multiple goblins, the giant, and then three goblin wolf riders. So let's keep watching here. I should be charging these goblins soon-ish. 
I'm also getting my fire wizard close enough to cast a flaming skull. I took two spells with him, the flaming skull and then the buff, the armor buff and armor piercing damage buff. Um, flaming cloak, I think it's called. But there he is coming up here. I want to try and get a nice flaming skull on these goblins and then charge them to try and break their morale. That's uh, Surreal's giant back there, not the enemies. Here it comes. Initially does pretty good and then immediately does a 90 degree turn into the rocks. If it had turned the other way, it could have hit so many goblins, I was so upset. So anyway, very impressive start, and then it just goes and phase off to nothing. Get a charge here with our Marauders. We'll let them eat the goblin charge first. We'll eventually start charging in our Chaos Warriors when they're needed. I'm going to be throwing in my Exalted Hero. In fact, there he is right down there at the end of this battle line. More Goblins coming in. We're going to intercept some of them with some more Chaos Marauders and then with the Chaos Warriors. There's Sigvald. I'm marching him forward to intercept the charge of these uh, Goblins. I did take the item that gives him regeneration, so he's going to be fine fighting against Goblins. And we are reinforcing him with some Chaos Warriors nearby. There goes an enemy Giant into our Marauders and to our Exalted Hero. Not good for us. And here comes two Arachnorox. Also not good for us. Then here comes the rest of the Goblin line. There's two Sigvolds in the middle. My second Flaming Skull going down on the Goblins. Again, it doesn't hit as many as I wanted it to. So many Goblins. We'll watch Surreal's fight as well because that is currently raging on. Oh my god, there's so many goblins. Right now I'm sending both of my Chaos Warriors with Halberds over here to try and deal with these Arachnorox and the Giant. It's the best thing I have against these giant creatures. My Gore Beast Chariot is wrapping around the flank right now. You can see it back there. It's going to be coming and doing rear charges uh, soon-ish. Right now, I'm trying to get my Exalted Hero out of this fight against the Chaos Giant, and I want him to go against the um, enemy Night Goblin Shamans. Now, here come my Gore Beasts. And my third Flaming Skull on this group of goblins. Right in through Sigvold, but he's okay. He doesn't mind. Not sure where... I'm pretty sure they're going to charge. Yep. Right in there next to Sigvold. And then they're going to get out. I try to micromanage them as best I can. Uh, this Exalted Hero is over here because he was chasing the Night Goblin Shaman leader. In fact, there he is right there. As our Forsaken and Chaos Warriors continue to fight against the Goblin Horde. Oh, jeez. That was a um, friendly spell. Well, it was an enemy spell getting some friendly fire against their Goblins. pause it for just a moment so you can see the health bar we have some of their army routing because they're goblins but they're going to come back in we'll have to fight them again we have pushed through the center a little bit our chaos warriors here are holding as best they can i'm trying to get a for second group through and a surround right here my gorby's chariot is over here um against these wolf riders i'm trying to pull them out of this fight so they can continue doing rear charges on the goblin lines and my two halberd units are still in here fighting against these arachnorocks we routed one, but it's going to come back, and now we're working on the second one. You can see we've taken some damage, but doing what we can with what we've got against so many large creatures. It's up to them to take them out. And there's a group of Forsaken just slaughtering some goblins. Killing some goblin wolf riders and other assorted units. And just trying to get our gore beasts out of there.
And there's the second Ragnarok coming back again. At this point, I'm pretty worried, and here comes the curse of the Big Bad Moon against our Chaos Warriors. And it does, uh, it does a lot of damage. It goes down the line perfectly to hit all of our units there. My great weapons are just kind of holding off these two units right now, waiting for um, Halberdier's support. Exalted Hero is still alive. We're about to get a rear charge on this group here from uh, these Chaos Warriors with great weapons, I believe? Yeah. Let's give you another above view of what's going on. Most of the army has come back from rotting, and they are going to be coming back to fight once again. Sigvald is over here taking care of a, a Goblin Great Shaman. I'm trying to get a second line here for when they come back. And I, again, I think these Chaos Warriors charge this area over here, I think. Let's see if that happens. I'm pretty sure that's what happens. Still so many goblins. And they still have a lot of their big creatures up too. But Surreal is slowly taking care of the ones over here. Oh, okay, no, these Chaos Warriors intercept some more goblin reinforcements. That's what happened. Another missile spell from one of the goblin great shamans. Now we're getting a rear charge on this group of goblins, so they are going to be breaking pretty quickly. Giant's still pretty okay. Uh, this Ragnarok is taking a lot of damage from our halberdier. Another rear charge here against these goblins with the Gore Beast Chariot. And now we have so many giants. We have both the Surreal's giants over here fighting the enemy giants. This Ragnarok is routing. His Chaos Knights are surrounding this one and Forsaken. And a lot of their army starts to shatter at this point. Including their big creatures, which we haven't killed, but we managed to deal enough damage to their army to start shattering their morale. Also, I believe we killed one of their um, great shamans. Yeah, because I'm only seeing one of them on the map now. There goes Sigvold trying to chase those Goblin Wolf Riders. And that is going to be a victory. So let me show you that again from Surreal's perspective because he was fighting over here. Surreal's fight is about to start over here on the left flank. But before we get to that, check out this skull. It just got messed up by these roots. These look like the roots that came in the Beastman DLC. I don't know what this orange stuff is. Some kind of Chaos Corruption or something. But man... That skull had a bad day. Anyway, now we're about to see a charge of Chaos Knights, I think, into these Goblin Warriors, or Wolf Riders, who are not moving. That's not good for the Goblins. There they go. Now they got the order. Goblin Wolf Riders have, let's say, like a no chance at all to kill um, the Chaos Knights here. They just don't have the armor-piercing damage and the leadership anything to really hold on against the Chaos Knights, so the Knights are going to win that. Here comes the rest of their forces down the field here. They're about to be charging into Surreal's forces. My battle is already raging over here on the front lines. Now Marauders, Goblins actually have a, a decent chance against Marauders. You can see the Goblin fire coming from the Arachnorok over there. Cousin Giants going at it. Just blowing on each other. Give you a view of what's going on with the hit points. The center of these of this goblin line is already routed. The goblin wolf riders are still being wrapped up by the chaos knights. This Ragnarok is going to be causing a lot of trouble, though. As it should be. This is part of the main damage of this goblin army. Oh. 
But for the goblins, though, for the most part, they are being already destroyed by, well, all the chaos forces over here. By the power of the dark gods. This would be a scary sight as a goblin. And they're trying to run away, but they can't because they're cut off. Here comes some Forsaken down the hill as well. And some Chaos Warriors. All oh, these poor goblins. Giants just exchanging blows. All oh, those marauders. There goes the missile spell from a goblin great shaman. That's a lot of bodies in that water. So over here, not many goblins are left alive. This Arachnorok is now routing because it was surrounded and its morale broke. Oh, I didn't know there was a Curse of the Big Bad Moon over here. Nice. A very effective spell. I love Curse of the Big Bad Moon. Real giant gets knocked down. Here comes Sigvold. Last time I checked, his Sigvold was over here. I guess at some point he moved over here on the left side. Oh man, that spider is just getting smacked. Battle of giants over here. That Chaos Warrior just had a pretty bad day. Yeah, some goblin cheering him on. A lone Chaos Warrior here. I don't think this is an Exalted Hero. This is just a lone Chaos Warrior. Oh, no! A true goblin horde. I love it. At this point, I believe those Chaos Knights are working on the other Ragnarok over here. Yep, there they are. And we are getting towards the end of the battle. Sigvald is now trying to bring down this giant. I believe in Sigvald. I think you can do it. There comes... I think that's my Exalted Hero. And this is when their army is about to chain route. And then there's Sigvald Swin. <laughs> Getting knocked out by a Goblin Wolf Rider. It's fine. Sigval, no one saw that. It's okay. So good game to my opponents and to Surreal. I definitely appreciated the line of goblins. Take a look at the kills here. 104 on Sigval, 345 on this flame sorcerer. I wonder where those came from. That's a lot of dead goblins. Exalted Hero got 105. Our Chaos Marauders, some of them did okay. Forsaken did okay. Chaos Warriors just destroyed. But I mean... The goblins, like they don't have much of a chance against warriors. Uh, the great warrior or the great weapon warriors, 
got into the battle late. I was holding them as reserves. Some of them engaged against the big creatures just because they're the biggest threat. And that's not their ideal target. But what else was I going to do? My halberdiers were doing as much as they could. They got a low amount of kills because they were focused on giants and arachnox the whole time. And then 238 kills in the score beast chariot. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, the goblins just don't have the mass to withstand a Gorby's Chariot charge. For uh, Surreal, or Brother Fistus here, we have 13 kills on Sigvald. His Marauder line did really well. Forsaken did really well. Jeez, 202 kills. Chaos line did really well. The, the Chaos Knights, also so many kills. And I believe these giants, for the most part, were facing off against the Arachnarok and other giants, so their kill count isn't that high, but they still did a lot of damage. For Mike Bozo here, Goblin line did about as well as to be expected against Chaos Warriors. The Wolf Riders did not get to do too much. The Giants did some, and the Arachnoros did some. And then for Will Wiz, which is the same army with all these upgrades on these goblins, uh, kind of, actually it's kind of the same thing, really. I wonder if they got basically the same amount of kills. Just kind of a quick looking over here. That seems pretty close. Pretty close. But anyway, uh, good game again to my opponents. Hope you enjoyed the Goblin... Horde against the Chaos Horde and the uh, twin Sigvalds. Have a good day, everybody. Take care.